Hello everyone, welcome, welcome to the stream, uh, welcome to another stream of Amiga OS 4 Gaming Nights. Let me uh, light up the, the lights because I forgot about them. <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, welcome Javier, welcome to 77 How are you doing guys? Today we are going to have a good uh, time, I hope. Uh, hello Telas Radio, welcome. Uh, how are you doing, Ryan? Uh, today we are going to have a look on a few games uh, that I had in mind and pay some tribute to a small team that is uh, creating uh, games for Amiga OS 4 and for other platforms. So I thought that we should give them uh, a try here in this stream. And uh, sorry about uh, missing yesterday uh, stream because I was really tired. The the uh, my work lately is uh, going crazy, and I uh, it took me a while to to finish uh, last day work, so I couldn't do the stream. But so today we have the stream. But uh, usually I'm going to stream every Tuesday uh, and every Friday. Um, says, uh, hi George, all good here, great, great, how is uh, the heat uh, down in uh, Greece, is it uh, manageable? So please let me know if the sound is fine and if you, um, if the stream is okay or you have any issues from your side. Uh, so today we are going to talk about uh, Silver Hot. Eh? <laughs> Today we are going to talk uh, about a small team uh, called Entwickler X. I hope that I'm uh, pronouncing the name uh, correctly. It's a German uh, team that uh, uh, develops uh, games. I know mostly two of these members, uh, not personally, but I know that two of the, of these uh, two members of this team are uh, mostly active and uh, for a long time into uh, developing all these games. Uh, they are Thomas Klaus and Frank Menzel and um, they have given a lot of games for, um, uh, for the Amiga OS 4. Uh, Ryan says it, Vickler, I think it means engineer. It's, yeah, it is developer. Developer X, I think. The tenth developer, maybe, <laughs> if we uh, take in mind that the X is the number ten, so maybe they are the tenth uh, developer. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have a clue. And uh, yeah, that's uh, the, their website and Vickler X dot de. They have a list of games that are not only for um, Amiga OS four. Or um, yeah, in this list we uh, we have uh, for OS4 only the Spencer and maybe an older version of Maze because they have released two of them. The rest of them are uh, made for other platforms. Um, so if you would like to, if you are playing games on uh, Windows systems. And if you would like to support these guys, you can buy this kind of games as well. I bought the Pyramid Quest and the Monster Blast and the Superstar Blast. And uh, I can say that they are a blast. <laughs> uh, Mace is quite nice to them out. Yes, uh, Javier, and uh, we are going to have a look on that uh, soon. Um, Mace has uh, two versions right now. Maze 2 is only available for uh, Windows uh, systems and I think maybe, let's see what other systems are available. PlayStation Store, Nintendo, Steam, Xbox One, Google Play and Amiga OS 4. But for Amiga OS 4 there is only uh, an older version because they did a remake or something that had uh, much better graphics and they worked on uh, some of the um, opponents. Um, 
They also have one uh, website that is called amiboil.de There you will find uh, most of the games that they developed for Amiga OS 4 um, Actually all of these games are running on Amiga OS 4 and you can see here the maze um, They also, you can buy the games from uh, Alina Computer Amiga-shop.net They have a lot of uh, their games uh, available to buy and as you can see here they have also the motion media player which is the best uh, in my opinion uh, video player for Amiga OS 4 because it supports a lot of uh, different uh, formats of uh, video and it also supports uh, streaming live streaming from the internet and I use it uh, every time I want to stream from Twitch or from YouTube. I, that's my uh, choice, my video player of choice. And also I use it uh, for playing um, podcasts and uh, online radio stations uh, in conjunction with uh, my application, the Media Vault. And so you can find the games in uh, amigashop.net uh, And also you can find a few games Now this screen is not perfect because it is on itch.io its Their uh, website on itch.io uh, that has games, their games Most of the games are available there to, to buy and uh, yeah, it, it doesn't look quite well in this browser, but uh, you can have a look on that. It's enviclerx.its.io. Um, that's the four uh, websites that I found uh, about this, uh, this team. And uh, yeah, we have a lot of uh, to see in the next minutes. Um, Brian says uh, these are not uh, SDL, right? It's all uh, OpenGL, yes. Uh, they do not uh, do any SDL, if I'm, if I'm correct. Um, so, yeah, let's have a look. I have here a list of uh, the games that I have on my system installed from them. Uh, we can have a look uh, on all this. We are not going to cover everything today. Uh, but uh, because I, I plan to do one more uh, stream with uh, the rest of them so as you can see we have uh, around 14 um, games here uh, the first game that I have seen uh, from them is uh, Bubelska uh, Deluxe let's see if that works I have a long time uh, since I played uh, most of these games, so something might not work correctly uh, but uh, I'm going to f fix it most of the games have uh, also that login amiboig.login because they used to have uh, online uh, high scores and uh, this uh, form asks for your uh, credentials uh, I'm not sure if they are working yeah, I think they put the server offline. I hope that they are going to bring it back. Uh, so, but you, you can still uh, play offline mode. So, what is this bubble uh, uh, deluxe? I think it was one of the games that uh, was used for the contest that we are running, game contest that we are running in Amigans.net at some point. Um, so this is, as you can see here, Frank and Thomas are the two, uh, two uh, developers of it. Um, and the team. Uh, actually, for, uh, I think Thomas, no, Frank. Frank recently released the latest version of uh, AMI FTP. Uh, this one, Frank Metzel, as you can see here. He did some updates on this application, which is uh, open source. So yeah, they are doing also applications uh, and not only games. 
Um, Javier says, not sure, but as far as I know, that login on some games is updated and works fine. Okay, uh, I'm going to try it and see uh, how it works with my credentials or if they brought it back and I need to register again, we will see. Let's see the game. So, uh, you have this bubble and you have to move forward. without burst <laughs> let's try again ah. let me see the music So today we are going to, I'm going to play this kind of games. They have a lot of uh, puzzle games. So yeah, it's going to be fun. Do you have any games by Entwickler? Uh, what's your favorite? needs patience. I'm getting better. No. Uh, Javier says that game is quite addictive and not easy. It's not easy at all. It seems uh, it reminds a little bit of uh, the Flappy Bird, but yeah. Um, Ryan says I like the path uh, blocking one. Uh, you mean the, uh, the path blocking one? You mean the swap defense and the, this kind of games? Mace and tower defense, uh, Santa shout out, says uh, Javier, he's beloved. Chitu, yes, Mace, swap defense, the pirates one demo of their 3D platform and all their uh, free ones. Yeah, swap defense is my favorite. Swap defense is uh, a great game. Then try Mace Tower uh, Defense, yeah, Defense, yes, I will, uh, I will play that. Uh, Ryan says I forget the game, the name, uh, yes, must be Tower Defense, okay. Uh, some of their game are uh, already free, I think this one is free for you to download. Um, for Amiga OS 4 I would uh, look into the amigaboink.de website and the tower defense that people are mentioning uh, 
is only available as much as I know in their HIO website. You have to buy the full version for other platforms and you can download the Amiga OS 4 uh, version as well. That's a great game to play in an event, Amiga event, with uh, some beers. And have a contest there. this kind of games are uh, this game is not uh, ending anywhere it doesn't have any stages as much as I remember you just have to uh, continue until you lose One more. Haha, <laughs> one more. <laughs> Going to move the, all the, uh, the icons here, and you can choose the next game. That's my best for today. Ah, uh, okay. Give me a sec. Let's see. Uh, swap different. Okay. Javier says, and Spencer is very ni uh, visually nice. It is. It is a good game. Uh, Spencer, that's the platform one. Yeah. Uh, it says during Amica, our Greek invent, all the children get addicti addictive to swap defense. It's funny, challenging, with a nice uh, learning curve. Uh, absolutely. Ryan, I think it was uh, Mace defense. Uh, I guess that is uh, tower defense, right. Let's have a look on that. So, Mace defense. This one, um, you can find it, as I said earlier, only on their itch.io website okay play let's start from the first so um, this is pretty much uh, the same like uh, swap uh, defense but it has also uh, a difference that is the soul where you can uh, on every uh, stage you have uh, money and then you can uh, buy some other power-ups uh, or special uh, guns like the Nuke or the, um, what's that, the V8 
their own kids. So, um, let me see, can I reset it? So it's a tower defense uh, game, uh, there are a lot of games out there in different platforms that are doing pretty much the same. Um, and the idea here is uh, that you have to eliminate all the opponents that are coming uh, through the, the screen from this, uh, following this path. Up here you have the, the money, so you can buy different uh, guns. And you can upgrade the, your guns if you, if you want. But for some reason I removed it. <laughs> yeah, because you can uh, sell them if you need to get some money. Uh, Ryan says I got uh, quite far, I realized that it is easier to print some early missions for money so you can buy nukes for the harder levels, yes. It, yeah, it, because they are kind of strategy games, so you have to understand the mechanics and then uh, decide how you are going to end every uh, mission. Then if you have, uh, if you want to finish it a little bit faster, there is a button here that makes it run faster. To speed up a little bit uh, things. sound of the train. Usually it is one of the uh, biggest uh, enemy. There's a shortcut in swap defense to speed things up.
as you can see you start again with uh, the minimum uh, money uh, it's it's not like uh, you are going to save some money from the previous one and uh, use them here That's what I should use uh, in the previous stage, so that I can block the I could block the uh, boss at the end of the stage. Uh, Ryan says the, the the laser is great if it is in Q straight line. Exactly. I think you can manually force uh, things uh, to fire using the mouse. Seriously? Ah, like that. Okay, I didn't know that. Nice. And again, it, it doesn't uh, shoot, for example, right now. You have to point to which uh, enemy you want to shoot.
Ryan says, hold half two nukes, always fun. Yes. Well, I'm going to use it uh, as soon as uh, we can. And it is needed. This kind of games, I find them uh, quite relaxing, although that, uh, uh, yeah, it's not so hard and you don't need to put a lot of effort. Uh, of course, these uh, are the first uh, stages, that's, that's why they are not so hard. I guess in the following months are going to be harder and harder. I almost lost in this uh, stage. Laser seems better on straight path as uh, uh, Ryan said. Yes, exactly. Because uh, they don't stop, uh, the lasers do not stop on the first enemy. That's the reason. Let's go to the fourth one. the same with uh, a block in front of the laser because everything is going to be in the same line and inside the circle of uh, the range of the scan.
to add something here, but there are those trees and you can't do anything. have a bunch of armor I think yeah they have pretty powerful
I think we have a game over here. Yeah. So that's a uh, maze defense. Let's play something different. Let's play quartet. With, uh, by fitting the pieces uh, together, move the piece in the center to an adjacent um, window using the arrow keys of the mouse. If the timer runs out or you move a piece into an occupied space, you lose a life. Okay. The more complete the phase is, the more points you, you score. Try and clear the whole board for an extra life. Okay, let's go. That's a good game for a, a contest, right? So, uh, let's try again. Thank you. 
Doesn't uh, yeah. I was waiting for this. Three thousand. Not, not bad. Never played it, Ryan. Yeah, it is a nice game. The music is a little bit, uh, you know, the same thing all the time.
I knew it. I think it's much better without the, the sound. Maybe you can put your own music in parallel. Okay. Let's try one more game. lost um, Sid says no never heard of it did anyone used to play Hill Street Blues Amiga of course Hill Street Blues no I th don't think so Ryan I haven't heard of it Hill Street Blues no um, Ryan says the noise here it sounds like the police car when you park it, <laughs> it was a fun game. Uh, Javier, as far as I know, uh, all these games have a nice addictive level. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And one of the most addictive is the next one, I think. Simple game. Uh, 
I hope it works. Uh, let me try again. Uh, okay. computer is not so happy, let me give it a reboot that uh, dodge the balls is uh, quite addictive uh, Javier says no, nope, but uh, was it a Namika game or other on other systems, especially Ryan says, once you get a guru, yeah, it is difficult to, to have a, st a, st a stabilized uh, system after the, the guru. Uh, usually it needs a reboot, right? Let's give it a, a minute to, to reboot. I always fi find so fascinating the, the speed of the uh, reboot that uh, the uh, 1222 uh, has the uh, the new system that was released by Aeon we used to call it um, Tabor but right now it's uh, named 1222 uh, plus and it has a, a much faster uh, boot uh, uh, sequence. Okay, let me try again the configuration. Uh, I will try it on window mode. Okay, play offline. Right, cool. Uh, play three balls. So the the goal here is to to move your ball, the red one, without uh, any of the other balls uh, hit you. Not that difficult, right? But as you can see, now the balls are four, and later they are going to get uh, more and more. Five balls. This game also is uh, free of charge, so you can download from their website and play. The next one we are going to play is a little bit more challenging. say touch the balls, they mean it. <laughs> Nine balls. Oh, that was close. Oh no. Let's have one more. It's 
like a reverse pool game, exactly. There's some advice to set uh, set up a U boot to make it uh, faster, or maybe with and updated U boot. Don't remember now. Yeah, there are some uh, U boot uh, variables. They mostly have to do with the delays that are uh, before e uh, every boot. But uh, if you see the 1222 uh, loading the the modules. You will see that this bar is going really fast, much faster than the X5000. And the problem is uh, with the X5000 is not that it boots uh, slowly, let's say, uh, but the problem is that uh, when, if you have the Radeon RX or uh, Radeon HD with the latest drivers, you don't have the software boot and you have to do a, a, a hardware reboot uh, having to load everything um, for example the Amiga, the micro Amiga 1 that I have uh, it's uh, using ID right so the loading times are slower slow memory, slow hard disk, slow everything but um, if you if something crashes and you do a soft reboot, you are in a workbench in seconds. Because you don't have to, to, to load everything again. But uh, that's the price you have to, to pay because uh, even with X5000 there are graphics cards that have the software boot working just fine but you are losing some other features like uh, faster graphics and faster video decoding on the hardware so it's a matter of balance I think Nine balls. That's where I lost uh, in the previous game, right? Ten. Oh no. Ah. Uh, uh, the CPU. Uh, I see. Uh, let's let me catch up with the uh, chat. C2 says, "Haha, Guru is a very stable part of the Amicaos." <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, there's some okay. Um, Javier says, "Don't know where they got those ideas uh, for games, but uh, are great games." Yeah, they they are pretty good. Uh, Javier says the CPU is set to its uh, maximum speed. Yes, speed it is, is the fast uh, warm reboot uh, of uh, available on RX and HD. Unfortunately, it is not possible right now to have it. Uh, pull out your X1000 with Radi Radeon HD or downgrade to HD. Yeah, that's a, that's a good uh, thing, uh, Ryan. But uh, you are losing then to have a, let's say, uh, good uh, speed on uh, games like uh, Doom 3. Tonight, I, uh, oh sorry, uh, Ryan says I thought it was just RX. No, HD with the latest uh, HD drivers, uh, the version 5 I think, have the same problem. Uh, Javier says on U boot or was uh, X1000 CPU speed was um, set to a lower one. The CPU speed doesn't have to do anything with the loading, 
but uh, the X, X1000 was the one that you could configure the actual speed of the CPU from the U-boot. Ryan says, oh geez, my X1000 with uh, 7950 is fine with a uh, warm reboot using Radeon version 3. Yes, yeah. Um, I have the 6650, I think, if I recall correctly, the, the model. Um, Radeon HD 6650, I think. And that works uh, fine here on uh, the X5000. Oh, let's try something else. Let's try the... Uh, we have seen this one. We've seen these two. The maze defense. Let's see the balance box. That's a challenging game. Uh, because you have to have in mind a lot of things. You have this balance here and you have to put the blocks uh, and you have also to keep the balance of the platform and then make uh, four in a row, I think. And of course, if you put a block at the end, it's more heavy than the others. And uh, you have to take in consideration uh, when something, when lines are uh, removed, how this is going to behave. balance uh, game but it has a very good uh, music and it's uh, quite relaxing until everything goes wrong so this removes the whole uh, column so let me do that And then in later stages of the game, the, there are blocks with uh, bigger numbers, which means that they are more heavy. Of course, I'm not an expert on this game. I just try my best. I, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Game over. I'm dead.
that's not going so well. Raziel kindly gave him his uh, 7950 after I kept uh, getting scammed uh, off uh, eBay. Oh my god. Is it uh, working quite well on your system? That one is quite difficult. You mean the game, Javier? Yeah, it is. It is difficult. Um, but it's a very nice game. Do you play this while compiling large code uh, on your X5000? No, 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 no. Uh, for that, I have the... Um, I have Tetris inside the Light Excel uh, editor. So, if you haven't seen that, the latest version of Light Excel has uh, also a Tetris game to play while you compile. Uh, Ryan says works perfectly, but it was the largest card I have ever uh, handled. Yeah, just about fit uh, the last fractal case. Oh my god, so large. Thank you. 
I'm doing so fine here, <laughs> I think. Or at least I was doing fine. Okay. Oh no. Okay. I'm dead. Twelve hundred. Not bad. Not bad. Let's play one game. One more game. So if you don't have that game, guys, I totally recommend you to, to get it. It's very nice. It helps you find the balance in your life. Game over.
Game over.
okay yellow and then blue Uh, it will be very nice on a large touch screen. Yeah, maybe. Maybe on a, 
uh, tablet. I think now know your favorite game. He's in the zone. It's the music. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It needs a little bit of concentration. You see, four thousand. Uh, and some scares Doom Three like uh, will be awesome. Yeah, yeah. See to thanks. C'est la musique. <laughs> uh, that's the actual guru meditation, isn't it? Okay, so we have seen the balance box as well. Let me snapshot them. And now we are going to see Mace. But before that, let me connect my joystick because it is a shoot em up. And that's the only way to play a shoot em up, only with a joystick. At least for me. Everything is working. Time for killing some aliens. No, the login doesn't work or my credentials were deleted. So let me reset it and start the game. Awesome uh, graphics, right? Uh, and uh, a great uh, shoot em up. Let's see how far I'm going to go today with that.
just a second before I finish the uh, the level.
sometimes great when you lose a life is tough. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, you are right. It is tough. Uh, as you can see, you can get a few things, but for the last uh, two levels, I couldn't get uh, any power up, uh, unfortunately, because those um, enemies that give you the power up were not appearing at all. Um, Ryan says this ship is powered by a single fully loaded Cyrus motherboard running a, a dual core 5040 and Amigo is 4.2. Yeah, yeah, it's coming from the future. Uh, but only using one core. Yes, exactly. So, uh, Javier, uh, in the future, the SMP is not going to be there. That's what you think. Uh, Ryan says, uh, uh, to says, man, the, he's really good at it. Nah, stop it. <laughs> Ryan says, I think it's the joystick. It is Ryan, the joystick. It is the joystick. Uh, all this agony time didn't go to waste. I, I agree with you uh, 100%. It's two more weeks, uh, Ryan. Two more weeks. Let's see.
Thanks, uh, Tito. That joystick has more than 30 years of hard uh, use. Uh, it's still going like new. Yeah, exactly. Okay, joystick style are the best. Yes, mechanical uh, masterpieces try to change uh, to weapon P. How to change on that? I think uh, that this version of the game uh, you are not able to change uh, unless if you if you get that uh, the other uh, weapon from the um, opponent that gives you weapons. The Mace 2 has uh, also a way to change the the weapon uh, whenever you like. Something like uh, you had on uh, Project X, I think.
My health is not good. Yes, S, S, who is, uh, which is the Sonic, right? Is a stronger one, but you have to power it up uh, to make it uh, a beast weapon. Yeah, gun is quite white, and uh, plasma is better than uh, G, than the gun. But it must be power up too. Yes, yes. That's why I was uh, preferring the gun because it is white, and you can kill a lot of uh, enemies. And it's uh, quite fast as well. The plasma is uh, slow. Um, the final battle of Amiga rides. <laughs> uh, the stream is going to take years to, to finish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think so, uh, Javier. Although that I would like uh, to take years to do. Uh, Golkero is now the owner of Amiga Rights. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know who is the owner of Amiga Rights. No one knows. So we go to another um, world, let's say. At least it gave me some uh, health back, which is good.
I love that feature that has the uh, final boss of this uh, world that passes at the at the depth uh, deep in the the screen and you, it doesn't interfere at all and but it passes and uh, goes around. I could use a little bit of health right now. It's a bit, bl a bit blur to feel like a camera effect. Yes, it's nice. What does uh, you... Uh, when does, does you... Uh, 10,000 euro check arrive from Entwickler for this stream? <laughs> I don't think that they know anything about this stream. Uh, but I plan to upload this uh, stream into YouTube because 
as I said, it's a little bit of a tribute of the work that they are doing. And I think that it's going to be interesting for more people.
Uh, Kernel Panic Part 2, Javier, what do you mean? Just mentioned here that we had one Gurus and two Kernel Panic. <laughs> uh, I think the stream is running fine, right? What do you think? From your side. You lost me for a bit? Damn! Maybe it was um, some kind of a problem with the network and it got back.
stream went off uh, for a couple of seconds. Yeah, probably it was uh, a problem with the connection. Uh, maybe the Amiga Raid team it made had a huge attachment. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Ryan says George was compiling a huge project again. <laughs> nah. Uh, Javier says, don't remember, but if you change weapon, it keeps power-ups or starts from zero. I think it starts from the zero. Okay, uh, let's play one more uh, stage.
you mean about uh, the the one that you shoot something and then it scatters all over the place uh, like lasers yeah i don't like that as as well because it is uh, a lot distracting to be honest with you so um i think i'm going to wrap up a little bit here otherwise i'm going to spend the whole night playing this uh, game <laughs> the good thing is that uh, you can exit uh, to the main menu and uh, continue that game whenever you want um, so yeah thank, thanks everyone for being here uh, i think that uh, we have seen eight games and we are going to uh, have a look on the rest of them in the next stream next week uh, remember that this is going to be on uh, tuesday uh, i hope to see you again here everyone uh, i hope you had uh, fun it was uh, interesting for you uh, edwickler x and uh, thomas and frank they are doing so much excellent work and bringing uh, games to Amiga OS 4. I know that uh, they have shown um, screenshots from other games as well. I hope that they are going to, to release them at some point. Um, thanks everyone for being here. Thank you Javier, thank you Chitu, thank you Ryan for being here and everyone in the chat. Um, or everyone, anyone else who was uh, a little bit more shy and uh, didn't talk to us but don't worry, that's not uh, mandatory um, have in mind that um, you can find more information than previous recordings of my streams in uh, mycoffee.com uh, slash Volquero website which is for, uh, you can find everything that I'm doing uh, uh, around Amiga and uh, I would like to thank my monthly supporters who are uh, Breed, Christopher White, Daniel Zedlika, Emek, Gabriel uh, Falcon 11 Sokol, Livelord, and Tim Grooms. Thanks everyone again for being here. I'm going to upload that uh, stream uh, into YouTube. So if you missed a part of it, uh, seeing me how I am dying, uh, <laughs> have a look uh, again on the stream or share it with uh, others who might be interested. Thanks again for being here and have a good night. Bye bye.